So I wanted to follow it up with a solution-based broadcast. So I do feel like we as a people can change our situation in this country. I do feel like we have the ability to hold a power position in this country. I do feel like we have an amazing amount of leverage, specifically financial, and the topic of divestment um, largely by Black people in this country has still not been adequately explored. So for that reason, I wanted to come and do a list of companies, corporate companies, I feel like we should begin to not only boycott, but totally replace. Um, And Jay Morrison actually spoke about, or maybe Jay Morrison quoted someone saying like, we need to stop talking about boycott and just talk about divestment, talk about replacing these companies completely. So in light of the Starbucks situation where two men sat down at a Starbucks and basically two minutes later, the police were called and they were arrested unjustly. Um, A lot of people were talking about boycotting Starbucks, but I was thinking to myself, hold up, hold up, wait, hold the phone, because there are a lot of other companies that need to be on this list before Starbucks. These are companies that I personally feel like we as black people should not only boycott, but completely replace. And you'll probably be surprised at the first one, but I personally feel like Whole Foods should be at the top of that list. Whole Foods is to me, in my opinion, a repeat offender um, when it comes to not only racist tactics, but unethical tactics. Then there's Victoria's Secrets. Once again, a repeat offender. They've been criticized for racism again and again. H&M, of course, is atrocious. Yeah. So the other person on that list is the boycott list is Walmart, which if you don't know why we should be boycotting Walmart as a people, then then yeah, we, you're missing the point. They have benefited from forced labor. They have abusive practices against their employees. They um, have been subject to several dozen discrimination lawsuits and there's environmental crimes. John Crawford was murdered there. Just recently, Butchie Yarber was shot 30 times by Barstow, California police in a Walmart parking lot. Like that place is just bad juju and it exploits. It exploits people and specifically black people. Pepsi has... What people fail to realize is that Pepsi actually, PepsiCo has 22 brands underneath it. So boycotting Pepsi, because basically it's swill anyway, that's meant to poison you. Um, And the fact that they had this massive campaign where Kendall Jenner, a white woman, um, made a mockery of police community relationships um, after releasing some, it was almost a satirical uh view of Black Lives Matter. Um, I don't know who thought that up, but the point is that PepsiCo has 22 brands underneath it, including Mountain Dew, Lay's, Tropicana, Gatorade, Doritos, Lipton, Quaker Foods, uh, Aquafina, Naked, Juice, Cavita, Propel, Sobe, Sabra, um, Starbucks Ready to Drink Beverages, and Tostitos, and Aunt Jemima, which <laughs> in 2018, black people should not be eating Aunt Jemima or Uncle Ben's. That is a remnant of slavery. And it's a modernized representation of slavery and Jim Crow, but it is a remnant of one of the most tragic times in history for black people. You shouldn't be eating that. And Dove so- also, Dove has the same problem Nivea does, just Offensive ads over and over and over again, um, even though Dove, once again, pretends like L'Oreal to be inclusive. Um, Papa John's, which, once again, the uh, founder of Papa John's is a freaking crook, and he treats his employees like crap. And I feel like there are plenty, at least four I can name off the top of my head, black streaming services that all but go ignored and that are showing quality black content and we just are so stuck on Netflix and swear they're doing us a favor by giving us a shot when we're the talent that grew their company. But overall, I don't think I'm going to support Starbucks. 
it's up to you. I do appreciate the fact that they did do more than this own our own government does uh, from time to time to resolve an issue that they found a problem with. And the CEO, Howard Schultz, went on record as saying that they do believe that racism occurred in their store. So on that, I don't think they're the worst.